everyone. Welcome to tonight's AMA. Uh, today we have Level X and uh, we are going to be learning a lot. So today you definitely need to keep your ears peeled because we have uh, a lot to learn. This is a very innovative project. And uh, yes, uh, I've, I've heard uh, from the team uh, before this, but uh, I'm looking forward to hearing more. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and start. So hey, Ghost, um, please introduce yourself um, to the community and let us know a bit about your background uh, when it comes to the crypto space and uh, what you've been doing leading up to uh, the development of this side of the project or this 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 launch yeah you bet fifi thanks for having us again uh so yeah i'm ghost uh founder of growth defi uh we've been around since 2020 uh building on different chains and so you know that's almost three years so seems feels like a lifetime in the crypto space um but we started out on iost moved over to ethereum uh built on avalanche uh, did some stuff on Phantom, ended up consolidating back on the BSC when the kind of the bear market set in. And we've been kind of really just focusing on that ever since. Um, that is where we ended up running into AJ and uh, EMP Money. And we saw their tokenomics, really liked what they were doing, uh, thought it was a lot like what, you know, our philosophy was. And so we, it was a no brainer to go ahead and just start investing in, in some of their projects. And so we did that through our uh, investment arm called Hypermine. And uh, through that investment, uh, we, you know, we started working together a little more closely. And, you know, since we had uh, an investment there in common and, and a lot to gain from it, uh, we decided to start building out products on our side that also benefited uh, EMP money and and will in turn benefit us so it it's kind of a symbiotic relationship and uh it, it culminated with uh the launch of the cultivator for our own token grow um on their site okay and so ever since then we've been thinking well how can we take this a step further and uh you know we kind of got together and we started thinking well let's launch a token that buys both of our tokens on every buy and every sell and is also a very interesting uh, dynamic with the rebases. And let's add a whole other le level to this, if you will, uh, with the levels. So uh, that's just a little bit of background. I, I don't want to go too far into it, but I'll let AJ introduce himself, his self. Sure. Hello? Yeah, hey, you there? Sorry, guys. Yeah. Can you yeah. hear me? Yep. All right. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, great, great intro, Ghost. Again, we, uh, uh, that was a great background. I mean, uh, my name is AJ Brockman. I am fully docs. Uh, and we've been running EMP Money for over a year now as well. So we have a lot of experience in the space. Uh, and, you know, we uh, even during the worst bear market we've seen, you know, uh, both of our platforms have still been paying daily. And so we took that philosophy to uh, uh, everything that we do, uh, and now in this new token, uh, Level X. So again, uh, both teams are behind it. Uh, really, Ghost uh, and his developer came up with the innovative uh, leveling system, uh, but we're here to support it and help it grow, uh, and we've seen great results already. Amazing, thank you so much, and welcome uh, to the Python community. So before we get stuck in, um, you've mentioned that you went back or you come back to the BSC side uh, or this chain. What was it about the BSC in comparison to the others uh, that you've worked on? Did you find uh, was the best best option? Uh, I found lower fees overall, uh, better throughput as far as just how the chain works and in more just more bandwidth. I mean, obviously Binance has the uh, ability and the, the backing and the, and the resources and funds to, you know, uh, make, make the chain work right. And, you know, when we were on Phantom and we were on Avalanche, we just, there was a lot of problems technically with the chains and they didn't work right sometimes. Sometimes they didn't work at all. You had to constantly be switching our RPCs and things like that. So it just it works the best out of all the second layer change and is is chains and is the most um, consistent overall that we've seen and and has the highest user usership out of most of the other ones that we've seen as well. 
So it just made sense to just focus on the one chain and focus on our actual products that we were launching instead of instead of having to worry about, you know, the little things like is the chain going to work and things like that. You just focus on your more on your products than than those kind of technical issues. Yeah, yeah totally. That, sorry, go ahead, AJ. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree 100%. We, uh, even though our, our protocol, EMP, is pegged to Ethereum, you know, we chose not to build on these mainnet uh, because of the fees. And, you know, even with the transition to uh, proof of stake, uh, we really haven't seen the ETH fees come down uh, like, like that was promised. So, you know, yeah, I agree uh, with Ghost 100%. Uh, and it's a, a market share as well. I mean, you know, it is uh, the big dog. And even BNB now having not only exposure to ETH, but now having exposure to BNB as well. BNB has held up really well during this bear market. So, again, those are all many reasons why we chose uh, BSE. Yeah, I think, no matter where, I, I think no matter where people deviate, uh, BNB is is always part of the portfolio, or uh, yeah, the the projects that that run on the chain are always interesting to stay with. So um, before we do go into a bit more detail about the actual project itself, for those that are not familiar with this sort of uh, contract and this this uh, kind of system, could you give us an an, an overlay or just an explanation about how rebase? works and and how uh, we would benefit from having your token yeah so the, at the very core you know obviously is the rebasing mechanism that's what kind of draws people in in the beginning uh, or, or one of the reasons right so <clears throat> every 15 minutes uh, you have an expansion of the supply uh, that expansion rate is 0 0.02323 so every 15 minutes uh, that that figure is being multiplied by the circulating supply now the circulating supply is just what's in the hand of, hands of holders and, and what's what is staked on our different platforms like the farming, VDCs, the DOS, um, and that sort of thing. It doesn't include what's um, out of circulation and sitting in the team multisig. There's a large amount sitting there uh, for for future rebases because we just didn't know how much we were going to need at the start, and so we we minted a larger amount. Uh, just kind of not knowing exactly what was going to take place. So so that amount is out of circulation and not getting rebases. Now, um, one important thing to note is the amount that's in the burn address it is getting rebases, and uh, that's pretty large now. I think it's going on, on 20 million uh, level X that's in there. So it's the largest level X holder by far and was, you know, since like the first or second day. Now, as that levels up weekly, every and increases a level that's going to start to become a real force uh over time as it draws more and more rebases and, and rewards into it so if somebody's kind of sitting on the sidelines going you know i'm scared of rebasing tokens they they mint a lot of tokens and, and they end up with an inflationary uh setup over time just remember that we've looked at that and and that burn address is going to over time counteract that completely because of the levels itself, because it's going to get such into such a high level that it's going to be drawing a massive amount of dividends in, into it itself. So level X will become deflationary at some point. It pretty much has to happen uh, unless we stop the levels for the burn address. That's the only way it couldn't happen. Mathematically, it's pretty much guaranteed that it overtakes and, and starts taking an exorbitant amount of the supply uh, to it over time. And so, you know, you'll have a period of time where you have some inflation coming in, but that's only, uh, that's going to be short lived until that phenomenon really starts to take hold. Absolutely. Thank you so much yeah. for um, explaining that. And sorry, anything from you, AJ? Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, we, again, you know, I, I, I've been a pretty outspoken, uh, you know, uh, opponent to a rebasing. I mean, we've seen it kind of flawed. Uh, in other mechanisms, uh, in the way the tokenomics have set, were set up originally. Even with that, you know, uh, uh, Seifu, for example, had great success, um, you know, without the superior game theory and economics that we do. So we really, uh, you know, built up from the ground up. Uh, it's new innovative tech 
again, using that leveling system. And again, I mean, based on launch, uh, the circulating supply uh, is actually lower now uh, than on launch, which is unheard of for a rebase token. And then not to mention that, but not we, we have three things at play here. We have the rebase, uh, we have the reflect, which again is another revolutionary uh, element because you can ROI from level X without ever having to sell level X, uh, which is just incredible. And that that's something that Ghost and I uh, have applied to both of our projects uh, independently is that we want to make it more lucrative to hold our tokens than to sell them. And so by having the, the reflect, which again, uh, based on the taxes uh, on buys and sells, that buys uh, EMP and XPRO off the market and distributes it to holders of level X. So now again, you're being able to, to profit without ever having to sell your native or base asset. Uh, and then the third thing again is the levels. I mean, as Go said, you know, th this has that incentive uh, to burn, which is the most benevolent thing to the system. And so the more uh, that you burn, the higher your level, the more of those rewards that you end up getting. So we, again, we, we feel like we, uh, we've created a monster. Uh, and it's only been about four days and, you know, we've already seen some incredible results. Amazing. And congratulations for having a successful launch. And uh, yeah, you're right. It, four days, it's definitely the beginning. I think that um, in my experience, the first uh, 72 hours are part some of the hardest parts because you have all the hype and uh, people come in and then, you know, they're often looking for the next project, which uh, in your case, I feel that this could be a, a very different story. So let's talk about the beginning of uh, the project uh, in terms of the funds raised. Um, did you have a private sell, a pre-sell? Uh, and how, how were you spreading awareness uh, from the very beginning? Yeah, we had a, pri we had a very limited seed round. Uh, we sold 40 million tokens. Uh, it lasted about three to four days, I believe, and sold completely out. Um, it was not advertised or anything, so we wanted to keep it kind of close knit, just to people that were kind of the you know core community members and the most uh, most loyal. And so once that was over, uh, that's when we started doing the AMA tour and really starting to advertise. And we're really just getting geared up for that now still. Uh, you know, there's so much uh, on the menu for this coin still. We're, we're literally in the first week and just getting started. Uh, the detonator as a service, as AJ has mentioned in the past, is one of the key aspects of this whole system. And it's going to provide that ongoing, you know, use case or need uh, to, to keep locking up more level X into it. And so for every one of these, you know, second layer systems we launch, like the farming, the VDCs, the detonator as a service, you know, that takes more and more le level X out of circulation. Uh, you know, you have the burning and you have the use case. So the more of it that's basically removed from cell pressure, the better it is overall for the upward traje tra trajectory of the price. And so right now with what we're seeing on the charts, a little bit of choppiness and back and forth action is actually really, really healthy for this coin because what it's doing is it's allowing uh, a lot of EMP and grow to be bought back and rewarded back to holders and taken out of circulation. So um, that that's actually been, you know, we've seen a little bit of dumping since yesterday, but I mean, we're still at a three X from launch, you know, four days ago. So it's, we consider this massively successful so far. Uh, the liquidity is still uh, very nice from launch uh, and being added to with every sell. So we're, we're pretty happy with the launch so far, and we have a long ways to go. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and, and to Ghost's point, I mean, you know, not only do you have to have uh, uh, a great, you know, tokenomic structure, uh, you know, a team behind it, but you also have to have use case. And I think, you know, that's been another major downfall of other, uh, any crypto project. Not, not even just rebates tokens, but, but if there's no utility or use case, um, then, you know, it's basically just gambling. So uh, with that, we uh, are launching, we already launched the farm, uh, which is a yield farm uh, through uh, Growth DeFi. Uh, that is another use case already. Uh, in a few more days, I think 
uh, or Hey, AJ, are you there? Sorry. Hey, yep. Sorry, guys. Can you hear me? I'm sorry. Yeah, we can yeah. hear you. All right. Yep. My, my, uh, my, uh, internet cut out. All right. So yeah, I didn't, uh, I'm sorry. What was the last part you heard? Uh, you just started talking. We didn't we were, get much. We were discussing the VDC, right? Yeah. Ghost? Right. All right, right. Sorry, ghost. All right. So yeah, we, uh, we, we, we're talking about utility. So we launched, uh, the farm, uh, that's live and, and, and paying well. Uh, it's also very innovative if you're a minnow. Uh, you can be part of that farm and actually get uh, levels uh, through that farm as well. And then the VDC launches in literally a couple of uh, hours, I think, uh, or days. So, Ghost, you're going to go over both of those, and then I'll go over yeah. the detonator as a service. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, the VDC launches on Tuesday right now. We've got that planned for Tuesday. Uh, okay. As far as the farm, uh, yeah, the farm is amazing because if you're a minnow, let's say you can only afford ten or twenty thousand level X, okay, uh, and you can't you can't really afford to burn, okay. So what you can do is you can go into the farm with your entire stack and benefit from whatever the farm level is, because anyone there's a button on there that anyone can level up the farm. If they do that, they burn 10,000 level X from their wallet, but the farm increases for everyone in it. And so they can raise that farm level up to about 29 right now. You know, you could have 29 different people burn 10,000 each, and the farm is at level 29. And it's at level 29 for everyone in it, not just the people that, that leveled it up, okay? And so 20, the reason I say 29 is because the farm – can't exceed the average of all the levels in the system because then it would taking it would be taking away too too much uh, rebases and rewards from everyone else who has levels right so we capped it at that to keep it attractive but but to also cause it to not take too much if you will perfect yeah mm -hmm. and then the, the vdc real fast goes that launches like you said on tuesday can you give them a quick overview of that, and then I'll talk about the DOS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the VDC, that's that's our virtual deposit contract. Uh, it we call it dueling VDCs because it has two opposing sides. Uh, one side is uh, you know a little more mild, a little more um, not as aggressive, and so the the right hand side is a little more volatile. So we call it volatile. Um, the left hand side has lower fees, eleven percent in, eleven percent out. Uh, the more aggressive version has 33% fees in and out, okay? But they, the majority of those fees go to the drip pool, which is dripped out daily. It's a 1% drip daily once you're in. And it's just, it's a long-term passive income option if, if, you're, if you plan on being there for a while. You know, it, it could take several months for you to earn your fees back. But once you do, you're, you're in pure profit and just collecting at that point based on the deposit and withdrawal fees of other people coming and going from that VDC. And so you can also obviously, while you're in there, gain uh, level X, grow and EMP, as long as you deposit more than 10,000 into that uh, VDC. And we'll have the same ability for people to level up the VDCs as well, just like they, they can with the farm. So it'll be another attractive option for small people with smaller stakes uh, or minnows, if you will, too. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, as all that, as if all that wasn't enough, uh, within the next five to six weeks, uh, we'll be launching a detonator as a service for Level X. So EMP uh, has had an amazing uh, run with a proprietary contract that we have developed uh, over the years called the detonator. And it is a, an ROI contract, but it's very, very uh, robust and innovative. Uh, you do end up blocking up your capital, um, which is an amazing way to actually create liquidity for any protocol. And so now we're, we're actually licensing this software uh, to others. And again, uh, you know, we, we did this with Growth DeFi uh, already. Uh, we also have one with uh, the Splinterlands uh token and, and Splinterlands, which is a, a play-to-earn game on the Hive blockchain. Um, but uh, the, the Cultivator 
Uh, it's going to be called the one. They all have their unique name. So the cultivator is the one that uses uh, X Grow and BNB. Uh, uh, and that's been the most successful detonator as a service uh, to date. So uh, the long story short is uh, you basically sacrifice your, your you lock your uh, LP. So in this case, it'll most likely be level X BNB. Uh, again, we haven't made that decision 100%. But uh, it'll probably be either level X BNB or level X BUSD uh, because the idea is that we want it to add to the liquidity. Um, again, this is a great way to incentivize liquidity providers without uh, having to inflate the, the native asset. Typically, you know, that you go into a, an LP farm uh, and then they reward you in the native asset for providing liquidity. And all that does is add more selling pressure to uh, the, the native asset. So detonator solves all of that. Um, uh, the rewards are self-contained in the contract. So, uh, and then uh, you get a certain percentage out every day, uh, depending on your pool share. And you're also incentivized by uh, going for the largest deposit of the day. Uh, if you have the largest LP deposit within 24 hour cycle, uh, you get a matching bonus. And uh, if you go in uh, with a certain amount of LP, you also get tickets. And we do a random drawing uh, every 24 hours for uh, a winner that, again, gets that lottery prize as well. So like Joe said, it, it, it really incentivizes the uh, volume. Uh, and these tokens, Reflect uh, and Rebase, but mainly Reflect, they survive on, on uh, volume. So when, when volume dies, that's when rewards dry up. Well, we're, we're already built uh, a proven system that encourages not only deepening our LP, but also massive amounts of in and out volume. So that is coming again within the next uh, five to six weeks. Uh, and that could be a whole nother wave of, uh, you know, interest in level X. And those that have been building a position now will have plenty to go into that. Uh, the only downside is, is that you no longer get rebase, um, but the contract itself will be eligible for rebase. So again, uh, think about uh, that detonator pool. And again, we'll call it a unique name uh, to level X, but think about that okay. pool as one of the biggest whales uh, getting rebase every day. And then those uh, rebase rewards are used to add even more uh, LP to that contract. So. In theory, you know, your, your payout is not only prolonged, but really to be going up uh, over time, the more rewards that go into that pool. Thank you so, so much. And I, I feel this is definitely uh, ideal for investors who may not necessarily be wanting to ape into lots of different projects or they had issues in the past and there's a lot that they can benefit from by just, uh, you know, investing in the ecosystem. So uh, sure. as I mentioned at the beginning of the uh, AMA, that there is a lot going on. It's amazing and it's good to hear that you've, uh, you've got a solution to some of the issues that other uh, projects like yourself uh, may face or may have faced in the past. So um, in terms of your investors or potential investors, do you find that you've had any issues with them understanding the complexity of, of the project and, and the tokenomics and how it works overall? Well, the biggest problem there is that uh, we have a lot of different uh, options on both of our websites. And so new people coming in, you know, they may be kind of taken aback at first, but uh, you know, don't be don't be intimidated by all the different uh, income generating uh, options that we have on our site. Take your time, and you know, if you're just hearing about Level X for the first time, and that's kind of brought you in, you know, have your Level X in your wallet, get your rewards in your X Grow and EMP, and then slowly start to figure out how to generate more yield with that Grow and that EMP. Um, I do want to drop a little bit of alpha very very soon. Um, on the Level X um, buy page, we're going to add the ability to uh, compound all of your rewards uh, right back into the farm with one button. And so your grow, your EMP, and your Level X, you'll be able to hit compound all, and that will compound all three of those positions 
uh, in one transaction right back into the farm. And so you're earning X perps, uh, even more grow, even more EMP, and even more level X by being in the farm. And so uh, that's that's a way to hyper uh, put your put your uh, rewards on hyperdrive and not just claim them but compound them in one in one button. Yeah, absolutely. And and to that point as well, I mean, at EMP we've been really big on education. Uh, and we do plan on adding more about Level X, uh, not only to our academy, uh, but some standalone videos as well. We were one of the first uh, protocols, uh, DeFi protocols, well, crypto projects, period, uh, that had uh, a dedicated academy, 100% uh, free of charge, that explains how our uh, ecosystem works. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be continuing education. But really, again, I know it can sound overwhelming. Uh, at the beginning, especially this is your first introduction uh, to what we're doing. But the, the fundamental thing to take away is uh, uh, the idea is that you want to be able to get your level as high as possible. So as long as you're you know, going in with a, uh, an investment, however big or small that might be, um, I would say, you know, again, not financial advice, uh, but do everything you can uh, to try to get your level as high as possible because that gives you more of the share of the reward. So, uh, uh, and then like, like Joe said, once you get that part down, uh, then you can kind of learn about both ecosystems because in reality, you know, yeah, could you just sell your X grow and EMP from the rewards? Absolutely. But in reality, you make even more money utilizing those tokens in our protocols separately. So again, I mean, the richest people in the world, uh, they, they have um, income producing assets. So uh, whether that's a business or a rental property, uh, they never touch their principal. They live off of the yield. And so we apply that same concept uh, to what we're doing, where you actually can make more uh, utilizing your EMP and your escrow in our respective protocols uh, and earn, uh, again, other tokens that can be sold for even more of a profit. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. It really does. And uh, I'd just like to pick up on the fact that you mentioned the educational side. I think that many of the mistakes that I made in the past is not really understanding what I was doing when I was, uh, you know, dealing with liquidity pairs and not just not getting, you know, what the benefits would be and making decisions that weren't necessarily the best for me. And I also think that uh, this sounds like the epitome of letting your money work for you and, you know, uh, creating uh, passive income uh, while you sleep. Um, yes, yes, for sure. and I cannot wait to be one of those people that uh, live off the yield. That is definitely goals. So if Level X can help us with that, then, then uh, uh, that sounds good. So, I mean, once uh, investors have got a an idea of how, how it all works and uh, they're quite comfortable uh, with it, I, I understand that you have a referral program. Could you go into a bit more detail about what, what that is and what benefits uh, you can get from that? Well, that's not live yet. Uh, it's something that we're uh, considering doing. And we will likely uh, be adding in the next week or two. But uh, that'll that'll be a second layer system that will uh, incentivize buying uh, using your referral system. That you know we can give out that referral code to influencers. Um, you know, just regular people can use it. Bring it. You know, send fam friends and family over that sort of thing. So when you would buy, you would just use your referral code, and there would be there would be a referral pool. Uh, that they, that you would get a uh, proportional share of uh, daily according to the volume of your buys, and so uh, if you you know if if we're slow and and there's there's not as much buy pressure as we feel like there should be, we can juice that reward pull up a little bit and and incentivize um, ahead of some AMAs and things like that. We can share it with the influencer. It just gives us more ability to um, uh, add a second layer. Uh, of incentivization to to the buying aspect and we'll also be using it for the casino as well by the way yeah and and again i mean referrals can be a double-edged sword so we've been really careful with that obviously we don't want referrals to be taken away from you know what uh rewards uh everybody is getting already 
uh, but it's very powerful in terms of scaling. And so, again, like Joe said, having a separate pool uh, that is distributing those referral rewards, uh, that is very, uh, again, uh, the best of both worlds. Thank you so much. Well, do keep us tuned because uh, I'll definitely be hopping on that myself as well. So, um, I mean, the fact that you've managed to come up with this and you've shown uh, experience um, and credibility with uh, your work, past, your past work, um, if, if there are any, what kind of issues have you faced or are there any elements of the project which uh, could uh, cause, um, I guess, yeah, cause an impact to uh, the rewards and uh, it not being sustainable for uh, a long time, for the long future? Well, uh, with, the, with this type of a platform, uh, really the most important thing to look at is the rewards the grow in the EMP. And so, you know, taking aside, taking a, just removing completely the rebasing aspect. If you're just in the, if you're in this for the long term and you want passive income over time, the grow in the EMP are what you want to focus on. So the worst thing that can happen is that there's no buys and no sells. Okay. Because then, you know, there's no fees being generated. So the fees are what buys, buy back the reward tokens. So as long as you have that use case, uh, like, like AJ was alluding to a little bit ago, um, you know, you've got a reason for people to be constantly buying the coin. Now, you're always going to have people that get to a position where they're like, okay, I want to sell because I want some quick money or I want to, I need to, I have a bill to pay or whatever. So you're always going to have the sell pressure from people selling for whatever reason, right? It just is the way it is. And so as long as you've got the use case on the other side or that constant reason to buy the coin or use the coin, you're always going to have a little bit of back and forth and the back and forth, the volatility is what is best for the coin, you know, going up in a straight line, you know, that's fine. And that's really good. Uh, but, but back and forth is even better because you, one sells, you have a actually higher fees being generated. And so once, once the coin dips a little bit, that provides room for people that say have been sitting on the sidelines, thought the price had, you know, it pumped a little bit, too, too soon, too fast, and, and now they see that opening like, okay, I want to get in and start getting some of those rewards as well. I see a lot of the things that this, these teams have on the horizon um, for the coin, and there's, you know, there's reason to buy it because the, these, uh, these launches are still coming, and you know, you're going to see a lot of upside every time we launch one of these things, and every time that more, more of this, this coin gets taken up out of circulation and, and locked up. The detonator platform alone will likely lock up four to five hundred thousand dollars worth of liquidity, and so it has a good chance to double the liquidity of the coin. If we're looking at the history of of the other coins that that it's uh, been used for, so you know it did that with our coin, Grow. Uh, Grow had about a hundred thousand in liquidity. We launched the detonator as a service, and now we're I think we're sitting at around four hundred thousand or so. So maybe even higher. Uh, so it's very good for, for the LP and the, the, the depth of that liquidity. And so uh, it's, yeah, there's a lot on the menu for the coin. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and again, I mean, we, both myself and Ghost and both of our teams, I mean, we, we, we are DeFi experts. We've been around the game. We've, we've launched successful projects. You know, we're here for the long run. We, we don't give up. I think we've seen a lot of DeFi projects rug or, you know, outright steal or give up when times get tough. We we don't have that in our blood. You know, we, we, we do everything we can to pivot or come up with something new uh, that helps the protocols uh, and, and Level X included. So again, uh, like Joe said, the, the, the volume is what is key. Uh, and we have a ton of things in the pipeline to not only encourage volume, uh, but keep the volume indefinitely. And again, I know Ghost dropped a little bit of alpha uh, on the, the casino, um, but that, again, encourages volume uh, for people betting with the token. So that, that will be coming again after the detonator. Uh, and, you know, as we grow the ecosystem, you know, there is even more opportunity for uh, additional partnerships or additional use case of Level X um, that just continues you know, the momentum 
to the future. That is great. There is so much uh, to look forward to. And I can imagine in terms of community as well, uh, the way that you have set this up and the way that you intend to go on, uh, you know, your community members and investors will be able to come in and check uh, for new things. Because I think that um, sometimes projects come out, they do really well at the beginning and then they just kind of lose traction. Um, and speaking of traction, given the fact that you didn't aggressively market the funding for this project and um, it, it was, you know, a steady, steady um, sale to, to start up, uh, what kind of marketing plans do you have uh, in the near future to, to get new investors on board? Yeah, go ahead, guys. Well, uh, for every new launch that we do, uh, specifically the detonator as a service, you know, we're going to do probably an entire week or two uh, of AMAs uh, in the lead up to that. And so, you know, we're going to make all the rounds uh, that we did in, in the last week. And so, you know, it, between now and then, it's just all about, you know, constantly hitting the call groups, doing the AMAs. We're doing them daily now, as you see, uh, you know, doing a little bit of YouTube stuff here and there and, and just gradually growing that footprint. It's not, it's not an overnight process. You know, you can't just snap your fingers and, and all of a sudden you have, you know, thousands and thousands of real members, you know, buying. It's, it's something that you have to kind of work at over time and really, really grind out. And, uh, you know, that's what, that's what we're specialists at. You know, AJ mentioned we've been in for years. Uh, you know, they've, they've been launched for a year, a little over a year. We've been in the space for three years. Um, you know, it's just what we do. It's day in, day out. We love what we do. I mean, I don't think I've ever had a day since I've been building in crypto where I didn't actually just want to come to work just to do it. You know, I, I really love what I do. And, and so it's not work for me. I can't wait to, every day I get up and I can't wait to get online and, and, and dive in, you know? And so that's just what we do. We're just going to continue doing that and uh, continue getting the word out everywhere we can. And over time, as the tokenomics really start to uh, crystallize, okay, with the levels and people getting them weekly and, and not selling and, you know, people over time, they start to realize, hey, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot of level X. I'm adding it to my stack. I've burned a lot of level X. I have a lot of levels. I'm getting a lot of rewards. And over time, they're going to realize, hey, I'm, I'm doing well from the rewards. I don't need to sell my level X, um, you know, as long as uh, these guys keep coming out with use cases and doing advertising and uh, creating, you know, a reason for there to be volume. I can just sit back and collect and earn and uh, figure out what to do with those tokens as they come in. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I mean, Ghost and I are cut from the same cloth. You know, I've been in crypto as an investor uh, for about seven years now. Uh, and again, running our own projects, like I said, over a year and a half. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, we, it, it's what we live for. What do they say? Find a job that... Sorry, did you guys hear me? I think I cut out. Yeah. Yeah, they say yeah. Uh, find a job that you would do whether you're getting paid or not. Uh, and that that's kind of where where we fit in. I mean, again, we're we're here to do innovative things. Sorry, can you hear me? I can't just got now. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, uh, we can hear you. Yep, yep, to, to that point. All right, and uh, there was one more point I wanted to make too about um, you know, the the marketing. And yeah, I mean, we even now if you type in uh, level X and on YouTube, you know, we already have some pretty substantial uh, influencers covering the project, and uh, yeah, I mean, like like Joe said. For every new innovative thing that we launch, um, there's a whole nother round. I mean, I, this is my first AMA back. We did like uh, 14 AMAs in, in, in about four days. So I actually lost my voice uh, from doing so many AMAs. <laughs> so we, uh, we know how to market, that's for sure. So much of what you said just resonated with me. It's, it's such an amazing feeling to do a job where you are excited to come to work. Um, I'd say the only downfall is like trying to explain at dinner parties what crypto is and what you do and for people to yeah. understand that it's a real thing. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in my 30s, but my dad's still like 
so when are you going to get a real job? And I'm like, you know, when have you ever had things like me just treat you the way that, that I have done? Because crypto is such an incredible industry and it's so nice to be this new in as well. Uh, and AJ, I'm so glad that you got your voice back because, uh, yeah, I have asthma and I've done, you know, days where I've been six hours on VC and the next day you, you know, you feel effed basically. Yes. And, uh, totally. it's, it's... I, I can relate. No, absolutely. Yeah, and, uh, I've never, yeah. I've never, I never use my asthma pump and I'm like, I think it's time I get an asthma pump and, and, you know, stop vaping because, uh, but it means we're enthusiastic and it means we love doing what we do, being happy to speak about something for, for this, this long. So, and this much. Um, so oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm glad that you're feeling better and make sure you get the lozenges, uh, by your side. Cause, uh, it sounds like you're going to be doing a lot more talking and sharing. Um, yeah. so. I mean, I, I, I said to Ghost yesterday, I'm sold. I haven't actually managed to ape in just yet, but I, I will be um, because I think um, you guys have been in the space for a long time, but many of us came in during the bull run and we got hit by the bear not knowing how to behave. And I have to reiterate what you've said, how important it is, you know, to have passive income um, and to have, uh, you know, to have projects like where you don't have to just like rush and sell your tokens and try and get as much BNB as you can and you, they can take care of themselves. So yeah, I really, I really, uh, I really understand that. So, um, just for the investors that are tick box, um, experts when it comes to, uh, signing off projects, um, audits and all of that good stuff. Could you let us know what measures, uh, have been put in place or what we can expect? Oh, absolutely. Yep. Ahead, uh, yeah, yeah, we're undergoing an audit right now of Level X. Uh, the entire code base is being uh, analyzed by DeFi Yield. Uh, and so that report will be out in a few days. Um, it's actually done. They just they gave us a few recommendations of some really minor things to streamline uh, or or upgrade. And so that's being done now. And that, that final report will be released in probably next week. Uh, as far as security, uh, you know, we have a dual team multi-sig, uh, half of, uh, there's four members on the multi-sig, half of the members are on AJ's uh, team and half are on ours. Uh, it takes a three fourths majority to change, make any changes to the code for level X or to move any of the liquidity pair tokens. Um, all those LP tokens are in that multi-sig. And so for the for the entire liquidity, so it would take three three members out of four to move any of those. So that's a nice level of security that we have for the coin, for the changes, uh, and for the actual liquidity. Yeah, no doubt. And we again, I mean, you know, obviously audits and and having you know hard code uh, backing up everything we're saying is important. But we've also proven ourselves. I mean, you know, at one point uh, in EMP. We had over 50 million TVL uh, in, in, you know, the, the, the end of that, that bull market uh, that you were talking about. Uh, and so, again, if we run it through anything nefarious, you know, it would have already happened. And we were, I mean, again, I'm, I'm publicly doxxed. Uh, you can Google my name. Again, AJ Brockman. I mean, we, we've done everything we can to be transparent. Uh, and we, again, you know, have made a name for ourselves in the space. And, you know, again, and not to get too far on a tangent here, but I, I think that, you know, a, a reputable uh, project, they, you can they have such more upside potential uh, from developer standpoints and building a name and coming out with amazing products than anybody that would just want to rug or scam. So it blows my mind that uh, a lot of people do that in space. And unfortunately, it's something that we, you know, have to learn from. Uh, but we're out here, uh, you know, doing everything we can to be one of the good guys. And again, I mean, you know, this is a game. There is risk involved, you know, uh, we are cutting edge tech and cutting edge DeFi, but uh, we really feel like we've put together uh, a better mousetrap, so to speak, uh, in terms of economics, community and team. Um, AJ, you are so right. You didn't go on a tangent at all. I think that, you know, it's uh, a lot of um, investors are wanting to sophisticate their portfolio 
And I think this is a perfect time for you guys to uh, to be working on this because, yeah, like myself, I've been through all the different types of scams and rugs that you can imagine. And I, I want to be able to sleep on my money. Um, and this is definitely uh, a project that you can do that with. And I think, you know, in a weird way, uh, finding an, an investment is like how you would deal with a person. If you, if somebody can exhibit a good track record and uh, show credibility, then that's, that's, that's a good place to invest. We're not just investing in the utility, we're investing in you guys as a team as well, or you guys as, as uh, you know, teams or team. Yeah, uh, totally. As well. no, so, that's, a, yeah. that's something that we say in our community all the time. I mean, we, we say invest in teams, not necessarily, uh, yeah, invest in teams, not necessarily, uh, you know, tokens. So yeah, 100%. Exactly, so I think people should consider looking for uh, a, an investment like a relationship it's good to you know look out for the red flags and and look at the past past history and and get an indication of uh, the creed of character of, of the, who you're dealing with so i feel like it's really important that uh, the community and the potential investors get to know you guys as well so we have an understanding although this is my second ama with you guys and i still feel like i i need to come to the educational classes so i can get a full uh, a full understanding but i know one thing that there is money to be made here could you let us know what we have to look forward to that you're personally most excited about? Uh, I'm most excited about the detonator as a service, honestly, uh, <clears throat> because, you know, we've, we've already seen the performance of the previous ones. And this one uh, honestly has the ability to be the most innovative one in the aspect that, of, of the, that it's a reward paying token in and of itself. Okay, so the other ones, yeah, they're yield generating assets, grow and EMPR, but this particular token uh, far exceeds their ability uh, to generate rewards in addition to the, the actual uh, platform. The coin itself is generating rewards. So um, when you combine all of that together, uh, the APY boost uh, for this detonator as a service could be far and away higher than any of the previous ones before it. And so uh, I'm really looking forward to it because of that aspect and seeing seeing the changes in the tokenomics based on that. And also, uh, I think there's a something coming out called uh, EMP Fusion that uh, AJ can go into a little more. But that that's going to revolutionize the detonator as a service platform in general. And and so this this detonator as a service will be no stranger to those new tokenomics. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. So again, you. Uh... This is all my answer uh, because, yeah, and it's, as far as uh, short term, uh, you know, what to look forward to. Again, I think the detonator service can be uh, a game changer. And, you know, we have a lot of innovative things, not only with Fusion, what, what Joseph just alluded to. Fusion is uh, going to be uh, a bit of a rework on how the economics at EMP uh, uh, function. But uh, in reality, it makes uh, the, the detonator contracts even more powerful and you know uh we, we also have very uh, uh innovative things in terms of nfts so we've been really excited uh and had great success so far utilizing nfts with the detonator contract so uh the first just to give an example um the first uh, uh nft that we launched was called the sentinel squadron and what that did was uh it, it took the capital that we raised uh, and invested it into the reactor, which is again, a detonator style contract uh, uh, on our platform. Uh, and that acts as almost an auto compounder um, because you know uh, the way the detonator works, uh, which is also some of the other systems uh, mechanisms in growth DeFi, uh, it's on a 24 hour cycle. So if you don't claim your rewards within those 24 hours, then they go back to the pool. And so uh, this is a great way to make things extremely sustainable, um, but it can be a downside, you know, to those that aren't as active um, and they, they want an auto compounding option. So we roll out these NFTs that uh, essentially uh, do that for you and just distribute the rewards right to 
uh, your holding of that NFT. And so uh, the, the one we did with Sentinel Squadron, uh, it was the second largest uh, mint, uh, or the largest independent mint uh, on Binance Smart Chain. We raised about $1.5 million uh, for the launch of, of Sentinel. So uh, that being said, we have every intention of doing, again, an NFT for the detonator as a service uh, with Level X as well. So uh, it might not happen right at launch. Uh, it may be, you know, a, a week uh, to a month after, um, but we'll have options for everybody. So uh, I'm, I'm even more bullish, not only about the, the detonator service, but then uh, the follow-up NFT to go with it. Amazing. There's, there's so much to look forward to and so much for your early investors uh, to give them reason to hold um, that you've mentioned. So this question might be uh, a bit of a, a difficult one to answer, but given, uh, you know, the, the, the things that we have to look forward to, what you've managed to achieve and your maturity in the industry, um, if I was to ask, you know, where do you guys see yourselves? What's the aim, um, you know, years down the line, a, a year, two years down the roadmap? What, what are you hoping to achieve? Uh, it's the same as the, we're hoping to achieve with all of our other products. You know, we want to <clears throat> we want to provide the um, the platform uh, for other people to become successful. And, you know, through that success, we also enjoy this. We also enjoy success our own on our own. And so this is no different. You know, it's it's about providing a fun, gamified way to earn passive income over time and to uh, allow other people to do that as well. And so for me personally, that gives me satisfaction when when I'm able to give other people a way to to earn, educate them and and just provide that ability for that to take place. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Again, I, uh, I've i said this in some other AMAs, but uh, I view uh, crypto as the great equalizer. And again, you know, like Joe said, providing uh, people the, the, the means uh, and then the, the education and know-how to be financially free. I mean, that's why we're all in crypto to begin with. I mean, yeah, the tech is amazing. Um, I think it's revolutionary. You know, it is the, the next uh, wave of the internet, uh, you know, for, for lack of a better comparison. But it is about, you know, taking control of your own financial decisions uh, and, and being your own bank. I mean, that is another really big part of uh, crypto, especially DeFi. You know, uh, Ghost and I have really carved out a niche uh, in the DeFi world. And so, you know, uh, there there's tons of, innovative things that, that we have in the works and want to roll out and continue to roll out. And, you know, maybe some things we might get not 100% right, but as long as we're continuing to build uh, and do innovative things, I mean, that's what I, I want to move the whole space forward. Uh, and again, you know, working with people like Ghost, you know, we come up with better solutions uh, over time. Uh, and eventually, you know, we hit that, that final uh, solution that, that does become, you know, a top 100 crypto. And I think that we can definitely get there, whether it's through, you know, XGRO or EMP uh, or Level X uh, or even, you know, even more innovative things. So, yeah, we're, we're builders. So uh, we're never satisfied for sure. Amazing. And I think you hit the nail on the head there where you were talking about being a top 100 because, you know, um, if, you know, I, I guess a lot of the projects that I learn about are through Telegram, but, you know, this is the beginning of where projects like, you know, the FTM and Avalanche and so on, they all started as uh, new projects with early investors that, you know, are not 100% sure, but they take a, a chance and then, then they end up being the biggest uh, projects, you know, on, on CMC. So I can definitely see that from you guys um, as a team, as well as a utility. Um, and I, I have another question. Um, well, actually, sorry, I also wanted to comment on the fact that today, randomly, I saw an advert on the television 
um, and it was a basically um, a bank banking advert, and it was uh, talking to children, which I never see because you know I always complain about uh, children not learning about finances um, in the education system, and it was essentially trying to get uh, people to deviate from Bitcoin and hedge funds, and I thought it was quite interesting, and it made me realise um, how much a threat crypto is to uh, you know how how threatened uh, you know the traditional ways of income uh, crypto is it really made me feel that um that they they realize how how important crypto is and how how it is a new beginning of something epic like the internet so it's so good to be early and that that really made me excited um so thank you guys so so much for uh educating us it's definitely um educational and for giving us hope that there are teams out there that are wanting to do good and not just uh, benefit from our taxes or uh, exploit um our hungry selves for financial freedom um my last question is i guess a little bit more of a personal one um Given the fact that you've been in the industry or been in the space for such a long time, and I don't know about your individual finances, but I'm sure you, you know, being that early, uh, you, you learned enough uh, through the waves of the bull and the bear market. What actually made you decide uh, to launch projects and not just uh, benefit from being individual investors who found out early? Absolutely. Uh, so I, I got into crypto in about. I started learning about it in 2016, but really started buying in 2017 and investing. Um, and, and through that time from 2017 to 2020, um, I was I was a member in a lot of different early projects. And, and you know, I saw the um, I saw the potential, but I also saw the corruption. And I was involved in a few groups that, you know, had people running them that ended up not being, um, you know, what we thought they were. And they not they didn't um, do the right things, and they you know they made some moves that were questionable, and and ended up some of them being dishonest and and really kind of running off with the funds, and I mean a lot of stuff went on, and I, I got to view a lot of that stuff firsthand, and so one of the particular groups that I was in um, on the IOST blockchain, um, we, we we watched that happen, and you know what that did was it opened up the door. Um, for, for me to basically, uh, you know, because when you're in one of these small, tight-knit groups, uh, everybody knows everybody, and they're constantly talking on Telegram, and you develop those relationships. And so what ended up happening was, um, you know, through, through, through these other people kind of scamming out and doing the wrong things, it opened up the door uh, for me to come in and sort of get everybody together from the group who had been taken advantage of and basically go our own way and start our own group. And that's just exactly what we did. You know, we started with 10 guys in a spreadsheet uh, in the beginning. Uh, there was no token uh, even launched yet. I mean, it was just literally everything was on the spreadsheet. And so as we went, we figured it out as we went along and it developed into PowerMine and we ended up launching our token. And a month later we had a website and, you know, we started, we started making, inv making investments and, you know, from there it just, it blossomed from there. But, you know, people people knew us and knew me for years before that even, and we had good relationships. And you know, I just I built on that, and you know, I, I brought the right kind of uh, attitude and morals, if you will, into into what we were doing, and people knew that, and they trusted me and us. And you know, it's uh, it's just gone, and, and we've gotten larger since then, and you know, since. 2020, early 2020, we're still we're, we're still here and we're still building and we're we uh, have no plans to slow down. So, yeah, absolutely. And my my story is very similar. I mean, uh, you know, I built a, a, a multi million dollar portfolio in crypto from about 2016. Uh, again, you know, being part of what we see now to uh, uh, bull markets. And you know, I always say uh, there's this saying that it's not timing the market. It's time in the market. And so, you know, being around that long, uh, like I said, you, you do build relationships. I mean, we're, we're big on relationships and you build relationships with the right kind of people. You know, uh, that's how I uh, got connected with uh, our, our lead developer, Jake. Uh, you know, he, he built uh, many uh, previous successful projects. Uh, and so, you know, and, and really, you know, for me as an investor, 
you know, I would go into these different projects. I would be, you know, very involved uh, from a community aspect uh, and, and from a whale out perspective. I mean, a lot of times if it was something I believed in, I would go very heavy in it. Uh, and then you, you sit back and you see, you know, the, the people running these projects are, are, are clowns, you know, like, and ghosts can probably uh, relate to this. Like, you know, nobody runs crypto projects better than, than we do. I mean, we, we, we gravitate towards uh, the right kind of people. And again, we have multiple partnerships at EMP uh, with developers that share that same sort of mentality and drive. Uh, and it, it blows my mind that some of these crypto projects can get to literally, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars in market cap. And the people running them have no idea what they're doing. I mean, it's all hype uh, driven and, and, you know, um, uh, just based on, you know, speculation and luck. So I, I wanted to bring my real world experience to crypto. I mean, I have multiple uh, successful businesses in real life and, I, you know, I'm an artist by background uh, and a creator. So one of my first projects was uh, uh, basically uh, it's called Polypixels. It was on the Polygon chain. Uh, and it's still functioning today. Uh, it was basically a take on the million dollar homepage, uh, from the, when the internet first launched, uh, where, uh, it's basically a billboard, uh, for, for other, uh, uh, crypto projects. So that was my first dive, uh, into actually building a project. Uh, and, and that's when the bug, you know, bit me. Uh, and now it's about, again, just trying to build innovative things that build on top of what maybe has failed in the past. Even EMP, EMP is a fork of uh, Tomb Finance uh, or, you know, the typical seniors protocols. But we have built literally about 10 different uh, smart contracts on top of our platform, uh, which we say we're the entire dinner plate, uh, not just a fork. So all of those things combined, again, and everything Joe said, uh, you know, that's really where, where my head is at uh, and wanting to run a project. Uh, but Ghost, I know you can relate to this too. Uh, everybody thinks it's uh, uh, amazing to run your own project uh, until you're doing it, right, Ghost? Uh, it is a lot of hard work, man. So, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I for the first two years, I, I don't think I put in any less than, you know, 15, 16 hours a day. You know, totally. and I mean, totally. just the kind of person I am, I'm kind of a go getter. I mean, it didn't really bother me. So it's kind of a rare thing. Uh, but but still, yeah, you know, most people wouldn't be able to handle that. And, you know, you've you got to be there all hours of the day and night sometimes. I mean, there's a lot of times that I'm up at 3, 4 a.m. every day. And uh, I'm online. And, you know, and sometimes I don't go to bed until midnight, 1 o'clock. So, you know, it, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, you know, everybody looks at you if there's any kind of an issue. And, uh, you know. But the payoff is also really good um, when, when you, you know, the satisfaction of delivering something that, that people are excited about, that they see a future with, and that that's a vehicle uh, to that financial freedom, which is ultimately, you know, freedom in general. And so, yeah, I, I love what I do. And uh, every day is a new, new challenge and a new adventure. So 100%. Well, other than bringing us great utility projects. You guys have absolutely inspired me and I'm sure many people that take part in your AMAs. And I, I'm a bit of a MBTI. I don't know if you know the personality type uh, tests, but I'm a bit of like obsessed with them. And I was trying to figure you guys out because I was thinking you guys are, definitely sound like go-getters. I'm not sure which uh, you are, but uh, I, can, I can hear that you guys are go-getters and that you are very much in sync as well. Because uh, sometimes when you have more than one person on the AMA, it can get really chaotic and you guys obviously have a good working relationship and, and boost each other up as well. So it, it's it's really, really good to hear good projects, especially after the, the depression of uh, the bear. And uh, it's good that things are going well in, in the crypto market in general. And we're glad to have you in the space. So um, I do think you're going to probably lose your voice again, AJ, because yeah. I feel that there is, <laughs> I feel like there is so, I feel like you guys need to tour like every week indefinitely because we're never going to grasp enough um, of what you have to offer. And uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure 
being able to speak with you guys and and learning um i'll probably need to come and host another ama somewhere else just so i can understand just once more because there is so much to it but uh, I, I think if somebody's just tuning in now we're thinking education long term and uh, a trusted a trusted team uh, bringing a great utilities which uh, are soon to be on the top top 100 and uh, yeah thank you so much guys yeah, no. It was Thank you so pleasure. much for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, no doubt. Sorry, <laughs> Joe. I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, go ahead, okay. Joe. <laughs> oh no, no. I just to say, absolute pleasure. Uh, we love being here and 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 getting to sound off and let everybody know uh, kind of where we're coming from, so you can kind of get to know us slowly. And uh, yeah, just keep tuning into the AMAs, and uh, we'll drop more and more alpha as we go, and and uh, there will there will be a lot more of them to come. So. Yeah, no doubt. Well, and I, I will take your advice. I'm going to get some uh, some Ricola or uh, those uh, lozenges uh, for my throat. But yeah, we're we're big on communication. I mean, we even at EMP and now with Level X. I mean, we do uh, twice a week AMAs uh, for our own communities uh, as well. So definitely join. You know, our Telegram again, uh, Level X, EMP, and Growth DeFi. Uh, we're always available, um, and we're happy to help. So for sure. Thank you so, so much. And I've, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't take the community questions. So I've asked the community to actually send over uh, the questions in the chat because I know that the guys are on it over there. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, see you guys very, very soon around in the space or in, in your main TG groups. Take care, everyone. Good night. Thank you so Good much. Bye-bye, right. <laughs> everyone. It was a pleasure. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Yep. Bye. See you. Bye-bye.